the weather is starting to turn and it's getting really cold now. And over the weekend, I decided to make some soup. And when I made my soup, I started thinking about one of the most famous artists, Wayne Tebow. He loved to paint delicious treats and soups was one of them. Today, I'm gonna to teach you a little bit about him and his life. And then we're gonna create a multimedia artwork of a bowl of soup. Meet American pop artist, Wayne Tebow. He loved to paint edible treats. He often repeated his treats and used lots of color and value. He also played with lights and shadows to make his work look three-dimensional. This is our inspiration piece, cream soups. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a bowl of soup and use some shadow to make it look three-dimensional. All right, the first step we're going to do is get a white piece of paper and you're going to, we're going to make two circles. One will be for our bowl of soup. The other will be for the soup inside the bowl. So you need two circles, one smaller, one larger. I'm going to take the smaller circle, place it on the paper with my Sharpie marker. I will trace around it. Now, if you have paint, you can use the white paper. If you do not have watercolor paint, you can just go ahead and use yellow paper. This will be for your soup broth. So one or the other. Now, if you have crayons, you can use crayons or you can use oil pastels. We're going to fill our soup with different letters or alphabet soup. So I wanna use a variety of colors. That means I'm gonna use a lot of different ones. I wanna do a variety of sizes, big letters and smaller letters. I guess that's lowercase and smaller than the other one. I wanna turn my paper so I can get some letters upside down some right side up, variety always makes things exciting. I'm pressing hard with my crayons, And I keep rotating my paper. You'll go ahead and continue that until you feel like you have enough letters in your alphabet soup. When you're done, if you have your watercolors, you can pull your watercolors out, get your brush, wake up that yellow with some water. Wake up yellow! We're going to paint right on top of our crayons. It won't go anywhere. This is called a crayon resist. It's res the paint will not paint over our waxy crayons, they are resisting. The waxy crayon is pushing the paint away. I did my edges first, and now I will go around and paint the rest. The more I put my brush in the watercolors, the richer and darker my yellow will be. If you have yellow paper, this is what yours will look like. I forgot to add some peas and carrots to the soup, so grab your green or your green oil pastel or crayon and use some peas. You could add some little carrot cubes as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some here too. And my peas. All right, next step. We'll let this dry 
we're gonna get that other piece of paper and we're gonna get our larger circle. Get your marker ready. We will trace around our plate. We can go ahead and cut this out. Scissors are always pointing away from our bodies. Helper hand rotates the paper. Scissor hand just opens and shuts. Next thing we're gonna do is make our placemat. I'm using markers here and I'm gonna do some horizontal lines. Horizontal lines go across the page. And I'm gonna make like a plaid pattern. I would like you to use warm colors or cool colors. So if I was using warm colors or cool colors, these would be my choices, blue, green, purple. If I was using warm colors, those would be my choices. Because we're gonna make these markers turn to paint, I don't want my markers to get muddy by mixing the blue with the orange. So use either warm or cool, vertical lines and horizontal lines. So now maybe I make some vertical lines with my green. You can do your plaid any way you want. I'm having two lines closer together with the separation. I think I can fit one more here. Now, so I have my vertical, horizontal lines. Now I'll turn these marker lines into paint by just taking my brush and going right on top of those lines. You can see how the water kind of turns them into watercolor. And then we'll do the vertical one. We're gonna let that plaid tablecloth dry. You're gonna cut out your broth from your alphabet soup. Put that to the side, get your larger circle. We're gonna glue these two together. You can use your glue stick or your bottle of glue. Glue around the edges. You don't need to put glue in the middle. Turn it over, line it up. So it has even edges all around. There's my bowl of soup. No. To show a little more interest here and make it look three-dimensional, we can outline a little of this. Oops. But I'm going to do a little C with my black marker to create a shadow. And you could use this, an oil pastel with that or chalk pastel. I used a marker and now I'm just going to right around the edge with my water. Same kind of trick I used. That's going to be perfect. All right, so now I can get my glue. Glue your edges. Get your background. Line it up. And if you have a, like a plastic spoon sitting around, you can even attach that. Do you want it on the side? Do you want it resting on the bowl, inside the bowl? Put a 
a couple little dollops of glue. Obviously a glue stick's not gonna hold that. You could use tape or a hot glue gun or some wet glue. And there is our mixed media bowl of soup. Enjoy this cool day.